Hi friends and fellow flute enthusiasts. In this episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews, we're going to be looking at a flute made by High Spirits Flutes. The flute that I have in my hands is a unique flute, of course. Um, it's a triple flute. That means it is three flutes put together. Now, these are all in the same key, so I've got A minor represented here. So in the middle flute, it has six holes, like our modern Native American style flutes. So an A minor flute here. And over here on my left side is a drone. It has no playing holes in it. However, it plays um, the root note of A and the octave note A by breath control. You can push it into uh, the next octave. And then over here on my right side, this is where things get really creative. Um, so what we have is we have three playing holes. Again, this is A minor, so we've got um, A, C, D, E uh, to play with. And there's a couple of things we can do with this side of the flute in particular. For right now, I'm gonna focus on um, this middle side and the drone. So again, this is a minor pentatonic tuning, just like the regular modern Native American style flute. Uh, this flute has three different birds on it, three sound holes, also three, um, and in one mouthpiece, it has three um, air holes. So therefore, you can control which um, which flute that you want to play at which time. So just by positioning your mouth to play either the single one in the center, or if you want to play that drone side with it, then you, you know, not play this, but just these two. And then if you wanted to play the two, um, the harmony side and the melody flute, then you would play these two. And then if you want to play them all together, then you would basically um, blow into all three. So here's what the basic scale sounds like, uh, just this middle flute here. And when you play that, the, the other mouth holes are pretty close together, so you've got to kind of pinch your lips together just to play that middle one. Sometimes there's an air leak around it, and you might get a little whistle with the airflow going into one of those other um, openings here. So just be cautious of that as you play this flute. Um, so now I'm going to play the single flute with this drone side. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with drone or double flutes. Uh, this operates the very same way. So then we get over here to this other flute. Now this has a lot of different combinations and a couple of different ways to play it. One is that um, one school of thought here is by playing left hand on the main flute and then taking your right hand and covering these three holes here. And as you play something with the, the main flute, you can also mimic that over here on um, the right side too. And you can switch around and play a little bit with this and come up with combinations that feel and sound good together. Um, there's a couple of notes that don't quite mesh well together, but overall, if you play um, these together, um, the way the scale is designed, uh, you should be pretty good. So here's a little improv with playing right hand on this right flute and left hand on the center. threw in a few little half holes there. So if you're looking for tips on half holing properly, uh, I'll put a, a link there for a video that I did on some tips to get that a little cleaner. I uh, hope that'll help you out in getting that. So then with the same side here, 
uh, like I said, there's a couple of combinations. One is to, um, you know, cover up this top hole on that so we just have the two bottom holes exposed. Um, now this works really well if you play that main flute in mode four. And mode four is basically keeping that uh, fourth hole from the top down instead of the third hole from the top down. And again, it operates a lot like the minor pentatonic scale, uh, the basic scale of our modern Native American style flutes. Just by keeping that one down, you create a little bit different sound. So then by plugging one more or covering one more of these, and one thing you want to keep um, in mind, like this one's a little loose for me, the strap, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it up. If those straps aren't tight on the flute, it's just like when your fingers aren't on the hole all the way, you may get a little squeak. So that one feels pretty tight now as well, so um, just be careful of that. Even if you're playing with, I've got this strap moved up when you um, get flutes from High Spirits. They normally have this strap over that third hole from the top. Great training wheel, um, but I try to move students through that pretty quickly by removing it. Then we'll get into other things like mode four um, and start to break outside of that, you know, always keep this hole down or covered. Um, so now that we have the bottom hole uh, uncovered, what happens now is that this flute, this flute in particular, is playing a C note. And that really corresponds well uh, on this main flute if we play it in a um, diatonic major fashion uh, with this harmony going on. And I'm not doing a lot with this flute yet. Um, we can introduce that here in a second. I'll show you one more thing that I like to do with this flute. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna stick with this. So I'm gonna play this main flute in a fashion of the diatonic major. So then you can, uh, there's another strap, I removed it, but you can cover this bottom one, but it would be the same as playing this side, again, because it has no holes, it's like all holes closed. So one other thought that I have, um, a song that I really like to play on this flute, I get a lot of requests for when I'm doing live performances, is Amazing Grace, and it sounds amazing on the triple flute, uh, people say it sounds like bagpipes and that's a really haunting and mysterious uh, sound that gives people chills. Uh, same thing can be played on here, but keep in mind uh, when you play a triple flute or a double flute, you are using more breath. So what ends up happening is you really have to be cautious of your phrasing. Sometimes you have to move your phrases a little shorter just because you're running out of breath. When you play three flutes, you have to really pay close attention to that as well. There are times where I play this and I'm just kind of like, <sighs> I'm exhausting the breath inside my lungs. And anytime that you play a wind instrument, you wanna be very careful not to use up all the reserve inside your lungs and be more efficient with your, um, with your breath. So there's always something to learn um, and the triple flute will teach you um, quite a bit about breath control and phrasing. So here's a, a quick um, couple of lines of Amazing Grace on the triple flute. from there, you know how the rest of it goes. Uh, also look for the version that I recorded 
Uh, I have a video of it on YouTube as well. High Spirit Flutes, uh, they're based in Arizona. Uh, they've been making flutes since 1990. Uh, so be sure to uh, check them out at highspirits.com. I want to thank you for tuning in uh, to this episode of Johnny's Flute Reviews. Um, and stay tuned for more flutes as we uncover and unravel more flutes from my collection. Thanks so much.